Hey everyone. Okay, I think this is working. This is, uh, I've just started live streaming here. It's been a lot of fun. Uh, but I wanted to pop in and tell you I'm working on this week's episode, which is going to air tomorrow. And I interviewed Hope Edelman, and this is her new book. It's called The After Grief, Finding Your Way Along the Long Arc of Loss. Um, such a great book. I was privileged to receive an advanced review copy of this and had such a great discussion with Hope. I can't wait to share it with you guys tomorrow. If you're not familiar with some of her other work, she actually wrote, back in the 90s, she wrote a book called Motherless Daughters, which was kind of um, very revolutionary. In fact, she's been called one of the foremothers of the grief revolution. Um, just She wrote that, and then some motherless, motherless daughters and motherless mothers, and I think like eight books altogether on the topic of grief. Um, and this one is just so fascinating. I wanted to read you guys a little bit. It's called The After Grief, and it has to do with, you know, she was, says she was really looking for a word that she thinks about kind of grief, per se, as that more immediate term phrase when people are really in, you know, the, the short shorter term pain or the immediate, the, um, immediate pain. And eventually, though, it's not like grief just goes away, but there's that kind of long arc that lasts a lifetime, even if it's different, even if um, it presents very differently than it does in the first you know, shorter amount of time. So anyway, she was talking in here about her mother uh, who died of cancer when Hope was 17, and it was 39 years ago. So she says, um, 39 years and you're not over it yet? Anyone with major loss in the past knows this question well. We've spent years fielding versions of it, explicit and implied, from parents, siblings, spouses, partners, relatives, colleagues, acquaintances, and friends. We recognize the subtle cues, the slight eyebrow lift, the soft, startled, oh, that long ago? From those who wonder how an event so distant can still occupy such precious mental and emotional real estate, why certain specific nodes are still so tender when poked. How many of us have wondered the same? You're still not over it yet, as if the death of a loved one were a hurdle in a track meet that could be cleared and left behind. So she goes on to talk um, all about kind of the longer term perspective of grief. And one of the most fascinating things, I think, is that she actually interviewed 80 some odd people for this book. And some of them were some of the people she'd originally interviewed 20 something years ago for Motherless Daughters. She was able to find some of them and re-interview them about their experience now, a couple decades down the road but also a whole bunch of other people, a whole variety of losses. And um, some of them were, you know, a few years, you know, or several decades out from their loss. Um, really fascinating. Just taking a look here at the table of contents. Um, she talks about old grief, recurring. She talks about what she calls new old grief the rings of grief. Um, she talks about story and the power of story and the story that you tell yourself about the loss and how the facts may um, be the same, but the story you tell yourself over time changes and some of the implications of that. So just lots and lots of fascinating information. I learned so much from reading this. I may have to read it again. Um, really a good book. So I'm looking forward to sharing the, our discussion tomorrow. Um, we talked for almost an hour, which was really wonderful. And so this book is available, <coughs> excuse me, uh, book is available on Amazon now, and I'll put a um, link down below in the notes, and you can find more information on theaftergrief.com, which is Hope's website for the book, or her her main website, hopeedelman.com. All right, hey, I'm going to get back to work here. Got a little more editing to do, and uh, get this all posted up for you guys tomorrow. All right, hey, hope you're having a great day. See ya.